everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. sleeves like we usually do. Oh, I think I see a new men's rack too. Just came out. Let's go. Push your way in. Let's go. on the new rack. Nope, bunch of junk on the new rack. Let's go. All right, I don't know what colors are half off. 50% off white. Okay, so white's half off. Oh, what color's on here? That's will tell us. Yellow, yellow's full price. Yellow's full price, everything else is half off. Um, probably 75% off blue maybe. Let's see, it's about to change in a second. Yeah, blue 75% off. Everything else but yellow is 50. Everything but yellow today. All right, what's up everybody? Amy's in, Lily's in, what's up? Welcome in everybody. Untuck it's too much. Wrangler's full price. I picked that up for four, but not for not for eight. Robert Graham's too much. What's up, Beth? I wish I was thrifting today. Yeah, we're thrifting. You can hang out here, so we pick up. It's like you're thrifting. It's like you're here with me. in there. No luck in the first row. Another untuck it. It's a Patagonia. It's $10 for a Patagonia flannel. I hate paying $10 for these, but um, I'm going to throw it in the cart. I'll decide later if I'm actually going to pay $10 for that. A little pricey for the Patagucci. Untuck it for $7.50. It's a medium. I'll take it. $7.50 is fine. I just sold and untuck it for 27 on Posh, so it took a while to sell for that price. So $10 for that's too much. Mizzen and Main for $10 is too much. This is way too much. This these this brand does not sell for doesn't even sell for $70. It sells for like $30. <clears throat> right down. Is Kayla alive today? I don't think she is. I think she said that she was just gonna thrift today. She's still tired from the trip. Good morning, Joe Bear, what's up? Welcome in, make sure you guys are liking the live, doing all that good stuff. He's a uh, Ralph Lauren, it's kind of too plain of a pattern for me to pick up, so I'm gonna pass on that one. Cabela's, that's a nice Cabela's. Good pattern on it. Pendleton for $7.50. We'll take that Pendleton for $7.50. That's a good find. Uh, 
down. Pass on that. North Face, it's too much. Brooks Brothers, is that linen? It is 100% linen. It's $10, though. That's too much for a linen, Brooks Brothers. Too much. Chaps, Ralph Warren, good pattern, but those don't really sell even with a good pattern. All right. Nothing there. Let's keep it moving. Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor. Mm -hmm. um, you went on likes today, I do. By default, I went on likes. But you know what that means. Whenever she doesn't live her, she usually finds a ton of stuff. Here's a Flucer. Alan Flucer is not a really great brand, but anytime these have good patterns like this, they always sell well. It's only five bucks. So I'm going to throw that in the cart. The more loud the pattern, the better those sell. Bugacci's, couple of Bugacci's. Here's a Ralph Lauren. It's a size small, slim fit, um, but it's a good, nice blue pattern. So that'll go in the cart for five. I have a, no, it doesn't. Vineyard Vines is way too much. Another good chaps pattern, but those don't really sell. Hacker, Peter Millar. Another Peter Millar for seventeen fifty. I don't know what, I don't know what they're thinking. Pricing Peter Millar for thirty four ninety nine. That's crazy. That's more than I can sell them for. Here's another Wrangler. Oh, I'll pick this up next week. It's six bucks. I, I normally try to pick them up for under five. They're not super fast sellers. They don't sell for good money. Here's a LL Bean. This is a nice one. It's an LL Bean lined like jacket shirt for uh, three bucks. That is a nice, easy pickup. Um, Ralph Lauren, older label, but it's only five bucks, so we'll throw that in the cart too. I don't mind picking those up for five. Um, this one's full price. It's a large tall, it's a good size, but too much money. And your vines was too much, twelve fifty. We were bringing the live first back to TikTok. No, I'm gonna keep them on YouTube. There's no point in bringing them to TikTok because I keep getting banned um, every other day. So I wouldn't want to be halfway through a live thrift and get banned and then not be able to download the footage. So we're keeping them on YouTube. Love how fast you're going through. It takes me forever too. Yeah. Once you learn the brands, um, uh, learn what you're looking for, you can go by pretty quick. Actually, when I'm doing, um, when I'm thrifting myself, I go a lot faster than this. I go a lot faster than this. Vineyard Vines, 25 is crazy for Vineyard Vines. They were pricing them down, but now they're pricing them back up again. I wonder if people actually come here and pay $35 for um, those. And then they have this right next to it. It's a Ralph Lauren, 650. Nice pattern. It's an easy pickup. I have an Orvis shirt. It's brand new with tags. Um, but even 1250, I think I'm gonna pass on that Orvis. Another Ralph Lauren 650. Pick this up, size small, colored logo. Peter Millar is too much. Paul and Shark is a good brand. Um, that's a newer label for Paul and Shark, but that's too much for it. Ten dollars is too much for Mizzen and Maine. I want to be thrift. I'll be there. Let's go. Yep, you can rewatch them on uh, YouTube right after we're done too because they get posted immediately. Let's see. Warren Ralph Warren's a pass. There's another Vineyard Vines. Good pattern, but too much money. I'd pay five to seven for a Vineyard Vine shirt. I wouldn't pay that much for it. Definitely not paying 10 to 15. What's up, Kit Kat? Um, another Peter Millar for 35. Oh, Robert Graham, but it's not enough of a pattern to pay up for. Needs to be a crazier pattern than that, that's for sure. 
appreciate you guys hanging out. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. I'll try to answer them as we're going through. Okay, Mark. Stop ignoring me, Wayne. I just said, what's up, KitKat? Let's see. Tommy, REI, Express, Ralph Lauren for five. Ralph Lauren for five. I guess I'll take it for five. I can't pass up a nice, simple Ralph Lauren for, for that price. Pass on that one. Carbon and Cobalt, 25. That's kind of crazy. What tag was 75 again? Um, I think blue tags are 75, right? So that carbon and cobalt would be 75% off, but I'll pass on it. It'll be repriced next week. Um, we have a birthday next week, so until then, it would be nice to me, okay? Sure. Prices are wild this week. Yeah, they, they priced everything up, it seems, again. But, like, all these Peter Millars are going to sit here. Um, red, white, and blue, if you're watching this, these will never sell at 35 because you can't even sell these online for 35 <laughs> uh, It's, like, 25 is, like, the max you could price those at. And at a thrift store, they're not going to sell for that price. They're going to sit. Summer Comfort, Peter Millar, good one, good label, but they're for 35 That's like full eBay price. So at least they're not pricing up the uh, Ralph Lauren shirts yet. I think they understand that they can't price up Ralph Lauren because it just really won't sell. And they get so much of it that they got to move it fast. There's another... Eaton Etten shirt for $69.99. That's insane. Insane. You're such a brand. Um, let's see. Robert Graham. Peter Millar, another one for $35. Another one for 35. All these Peter Millars are going to be sitting here. Like, I would pay five for these Peter Millars, and I'd try to sell them for like 20 to 25. They don't sell for as much as they used to. This is a good pattern polo, newer label, but it's full price, so we're going to leave it till next week. Hello, Bean Flannel. It's a nice one. Another Peter Millar. That one's 20 bucks, so that's a little bit better priced. Another L.L. Bean flannel. Actually, no, that one was half off, so that would only be 10 But even at 10 I'm going to pass on it. Why is the store charging so much for the stuff? Six ninety nine for a shirt. That's crazy. It's a for-profit thrift store meaning they buy all their inventory. So that's why they price it whatever they want. They're just like us. They buy their inventory and then they resell it. So it's not a, they do take donations, but most of their inventory is purchased. So it's like buying from a regular retail store. That's why they, they price things up. Not every thrift store you go to is a nonprofit. Miz and Main, again, for 10, too pricey. Miz and Main back in the day, I would have paid $10 for it, not now. It's uh, not worth it. What's up, Brittany? Welcome in. They also watch my videos too, so as soon as I start picking up brands, they tend to start pricing them up. And then they sit here forever, they never sell, and then they price them back down again. It's a Patagonia, it's an extra small, just simple base layer Patagonia for 10. I'm gonna pass on that. All right, let's go to short sleeves. Make more money if they sold it cheaper and went for volume? Yeah, they, they, um, they used to. They, they used to have way more volume sales. They would price everything between ten, 5 and $10, and they've recently started pricing them up. That's okay. They sit, and they don't sell. And then when they don't sell, we come back in five weeks, and we'll pick them up um, when they're cheaper. All the stuff that I just passed on will eventually drop in price. Born. Probably going to go from here to the sweater section. I know that sounds weird because we're heading into the summer months, but sweaters here normally start dropping in price this time of year. We could pick up a bunch for really cheap. There's another Pendleton for $7.50. Just a short sleeve Pendleton. These don't go for crazy money, but um, it'll go for over $20 for $7.50. I'll throw that in the cart. Keep forgetting that my name is on here instead of Adventure to You. Yeah, 
Everybody has different names everywhere. It's hard to keep up with you guys. 650 for that North Face I'm gonna pass on. It's a nice Tommy, um, but it's too much, 25. It's a nice polo too. It's a long sleeve polo. Man, that's a stretch one too. It's a $25 shirt, but it's too much and has a stain on the front. Little stain on the front. Actually, we're gonna go to the short sleeves after this. Is Surf's in here? I don't think he is. I haven't seen him yet. By the way, make sure you guys are liking the live. I think you have to like um, hit the three dots in the corner and hit that like button. It tells uh, YouTube that you like the live and it'll push it to more people. So we can get some more people in the chat. And my last few live thrifts are all done on YouTube and they're all here on YouTube. So if you're new, make sure you go check them out. They're all um, all up right now. You can go rewatch them at any time. What's um, name is Brad on all platforms? Yes, that's Surf's name on all platforms, correct, Kit Kat. His name is Brad. I'm glad you, I'm glad you know. It's not Brad, it's Brad. Brat. I haven't found many short sleeves in the last few weeks. Short sleeves have been lacking, but then again, everybody's shopping short sleeves right now. That's why the racks are pretty empty. Tommy Hilfiger, not a good, not a good pickup. Let's hope for some good polos. There's a pair of hokas right there. How much they want for the hokas? Forty-four ninety-nine. Yikes. There's some G defies. Gravity defiers. How much are these? These are also forty-five. I wonder if Ethan's probably gonna say those are too much to pick up. Those are all like their premium shoes they stick up there. It's a Tory Richard. It's a nice Tory Richard. It's got a good pattern to it, but it's just a cotton one. I'm gonna pass on that one. It seems kind of ratty too. Good morning from Olha. What's up? Where's Olha at? <clears throat> Appreciate all the likes coming in. Tommy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, they brought out a new rack. Let's check the new rack in a second. So North Face for five. I'm gonna pass on it. Those North Face short sleeves haven't been doing very well. watching you um, far away today. Nice. Palm Harbor isn't too far away. What happened to Ethan and Dalton's podcast? They stopped doing it from what um, Ethan told me um, just a couple weeks ago. They no longer are doing it. I think they just don't have enough time. The most consistent podcast is no longer consistent. Um, Lacoste Sport, it's $8. It's a good Lacoste. These are one of the better Lacoste to sell. It's got a bigger logo, but I'm going to pass on it for eight. What are you doing? I am thrifting. I'm looking for items um, to buy and then flip back online for a profit. So I'm looking for brands like the brands I have in my cart, looking for profitable items that I'm going to buy and then flip. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, got tons of content here on YouTube going over what I do. Um, this is like a borderline pickup. It's a new tag Ralph Lauren Polo. Um, I'm gonna throw it in my cart. These will go for like 35, but paying 15 is kind of pricey. But yeah, looking for items to flip. Um, is the summer slow for everyone? My sales have been down for the last two weeks. Yeah, summer, summer slowdown is a thing. So when your sales 
will not be as good. Um, winter time is always when you're selling the most. I guess it depends on what you sell too, but if you're selling mostly clothing, it's gonna start slowing down here over the next few months. Um, you helped go through my picks last week. Nice, oh, nice. What's up? Welcome in. Donald Ross, good pattern, not a good brand. Um, good morning, Jen, what's up? Peter Millar, 1250, has a logo on the front. I don't know what golf club that is. Could be a good one, but I have no clue. Um, there's an older Summer Comfort. Those aren't worth picking up. They really don't move that well. Lots of people over in the shoes. Ethan should be here today. He normally comes on um, on Wednesdays. There's a Travis Matthew for 750. I'm gonna pass on it. Travis Matthews, another brand that hasn't really been selling too well. Mm -hmm. Another Peter Millar Summer Comfort with the same logo. Does anybody know what logo that is? This one's only four. I might put this in the cart. I'll look up that logo later. It's a Kuji shirt for six. Um, that one also has a logo on the front. I'm not sure what logo that is either. There's another one with that logo. Maybe that will tell me. No. This one's 650. I'm gonna throw these in the cart. That might be a good golf club. Barbie sock. Nice. I think you meant, oh, poop the yellow Barbie sock. Nice. Congrats. Let's see. As soon as we're done with this, we'll go to the sweaters section. There's another Peter Millar. It's got a hit on the sleeve, that's not a good one to pick up. Have you ever seen RLX Polo with a Trump um, house sign on the sleeve? No, I've never seen, um, I picked up RLX, but I've never seen it with that combo. I was hoping for some good golf polos, because golf polos have been moving super fast for me. Get some G4 in here. There's a pair of Brooks right there. you figure out which um, golf club is good so I'll use Google search uh, Google image search and then what I'll do is I'll figure out what golf club that is on the front of that shirt I'll figure out what it is and then I'll research eBay comps to see if they're selling for more money because of the logo this is 1250 for a should be a Lululemon polo I don't see the little emblem on it but it definitely is a Lulu but I'm not paying twelve fifty for a Lulu polo. Um, oh, I already answered that question. Make sure you're uh, hitting that like button if you're hanging out on the stream. Sample, sample shirt. On Johnny O, new a tag, but a local golf course still worth the pickup. Depends on the price. If it's like five to seven dollars, I would say yes, because you'll still be able to move it. But if it's any more than that, I would say no. G Star Raw is a good brand, but that's too much for that that shirt. They moved all the t-shirts over here. It looks like they're they don't have many polos this week, so they moved some t-shirts over here. We're not going to go through the tees. Let's go to the uh, sweater section. 
big the store is. Massive. Oh, we already got somebody going through the sweaters. We might not find much because we already got somebody who went through the sweater section. Two fifty. That's that's fine. Two fifty for that is, is okay to pick up. Who's your favorite reseller to watch? Um, definitely not that Surf's Up Finds guy. Um, Kit Kat called you a brat, by the way. She said your name isn't Brad, it's Brat. You've probably been called that a couple times in your life. Art, Art to resell? Yeah, he's good, I like Art. So is this a black label Ralph Warren? It is, it's an older black label Ralph Warren. It's 25 bucks, I don't think it's worth it for 25, especially because it seems like it's just cotton. Um, that's too much, too much. Too much. Polo for 15. Um, Kit Kat lost a bet and owes me 100 bucks. Nice, let's go. Kit Kat, you better pay up. Brand is this? Nope. Um, tell Kayla we miss her live feeds. I know. I told her today she should go live, but she's like, "No, I'm too tired. I just want to. I just want to thrift." It's like, all right, people miss you. People miss you. I thought it was B Rad. No, it's B Rat. He's a B Rat. T tons of Tommy sweaters, but Tommy sweaters don't sell. Tommy sweaters do not sell. It's an All Saints. All Saints is a good brand, but not for 50 bucks. I doubt we're going to find anything. The guy um, across from me here, he has a full cart. So he probably got all the goodies. Hi, Miss Kayla. You guys got to tell her that. You got to tell her that. Came in here today. She was like, "I don't. I'm too tired from the trip." I was like, "All right, people. People want your lives." Yeah, I'm too tired. So, all right, go do your thing. The good thing is, when she doesn't go live, she normally hauls out. So she normally fills a full cart. North Face hoodies. They still pricing these up right now. Watch their watch the prices drop in the in the summertime. If they don't drop the prices, trust me, this section is already full. Like, look how. Look how jam-packed this section is. If they don't start dropping the prices, they're literally gonna be stuck with all these hoodies. And the thing is, they continue to get more throughout the season. So um, in the middle of summertime, nobody's buying hoodies where we are. So they're gonna be stuck with a ton of hoodies in the back and then they're gonna be forced to drop the prices. And that's when us as resellers make our money. Cashmere does sell, correct. Especially if you can get cashmere with a good brand. Avalanche, tons of avalanches. A marmot, just a simple marmot tea for for three bucks. I'll probably throw that in the cart. That's worth it. I get like a little fifteen dollars for that. Nothing too crazy. Twelve fifty for the North Face full zip. Still a little bit on the pricey end. We'll wait until they drop the prices on those, and then we'll start hauling out on them. Man, look how. How full this is. This is the North Face. See, they're starting to price these down. That's the, that's only 10. That was a new item they just put out. The older ones, like this one, are still 15. They, this one would be 750. Um, it's too basic of a North Face to pick up for 750, so we're gonna pass on it. Too basic. I'll pick that up for five in like two months. Wayne Zippet, Brad, it was me. Uh, that's not what he said. He said you owe him 100, and he's uh, he's charging interest daily. He's charging interest daily. I'll probably go through the through the women's sweaters after this, and we'll go check the money rack. Pa 
Patrick Everill. Eddie Bauer. Got some Spider in here. Lots of mediocre brands. Lots of mediocre brands in here today. It's a Nike crew neck. Uh, Wayne, it's your, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Congrats. You still owe Brad um, 100 bucks. Man, lots of lots of mids in here. Lots and lots of mids. What brand is that? Never seen that one before. Hollister not a seller? No. Hollister's mall brands. If it's in the mall, it typically doesn't hold its resale value because they make a ton of it. So it won't hold its resale value. It's not worth picking up. And I mean, Hollister will sell, but it's only gonna sell for like five to 10 bucks. If you're paying five bucks for it at a thrift store, you're not making any money. If you bought it at like, um, if you bought it at like a uh, pay by the pound store, it might be worth it. Um, but for me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick it up. Oh my gosh, it's so full, it's so full. There's a Lacoste. These can do pretty good. The problem is I always find these with stains, like that right there on the front. You can see it's stained. Every time I find a Lacoste quarter zip, it's typically stained. So that would have been a pickup for 650, but because it's got that stain on the front, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it to try to buy that and get the stain out either. It's a Paul Ralph Warren cowl neck sweater. These do pretty good. Um, if that was half off, I'd consider it, but at that price, I'm going to pass. By the way, for everybody in the chat, um, we have a whatnot show this Friday, Saturday. Friday is an all giveaway show, so make sure you come out Friday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all giveaway show. Everything's given away. So if you haven't signed up, go through the link in my bio, go get your free $15 credit, and come out to the show. You can spend that $15 on anybody's show on whatnot and then um, come out Friday night. And then Saturday is gonna be like 100 plus auctions. All really good stuff. There's a Tommy Bahama 100% cashmere, but they got it for 30. So go sign up for whatnot if you haven't already and come out to the show. We're probably gonna give away a couple free pair of shoes, um, some new Atag clothing, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you come out. Polar Ralph, do Polo Ralph Lauren sweaters sell? They do, but you gotta get them at the right price. I would not pick up Polo Ralph Lauren sweaters at the prices they have here. What is this? Authentic leatherware. The heck is this? Villantro? Villantro is the brand. They want $12.50 for it. I'm trying to find the interior tag, which I don't see. Oh, there's no tag on it and there's no size on it either. It's like a leather sweater. It's like a leather leather in the front, sweater in the back. Volantra. I'm going to throw it in my cart because I'm going to look it up later. It might not be worth anything, but it's worth looking up. What colors? Uh, yellow is full price. Everything else is half off. Blue is 75. Under Armour. We'll go through the ladies sweaters after this and then we'll go check and see how Kayla's doing. We'll go check the money rack too while we're over there. It's a old school polo quarter zip. Business in the front, party in the back. Hey. North Face, twelve fifty. Ooh, it's new with tags though. Oh, that wouldn't be twelve fifty. It'd be full price. That'd be a pickup next week. 
Oh, it has a stupid company logo on it. Oh, Lexus, that's not too bad. Um, new it tags. It's gonna be a pass for now. That's here next week, I'll scoop it. This week, it'll be a pass. All right, let's go to the women's sweaters. I go to the bins and haul out clothes. My husband comes, hard goods, personal collectibles. You found a genuine scream movie release hat yesterday. Should be around 100 bucks, nice. Gotta be a different kind of character to go to the bins. I like going to what they call the racks. The racks is where I like to go. Are decent depending on style. Okay, I'll look up that one after. I'll see what, uh, what they're going for. Sweater time. Disney, Disney sweater. Ladies, if I pass by something good, you gotta yell at me. Check linens uh, for silk sheets now. I don't do uh, I don't do sheets. I know you tell me to go to the. We, we don't do any like hard goods or anything like that or sheets. I just don't have enough room to store them. I have too much clothing as it is. So just imagine if I found like 20 silk sheets and I had to store those away. That would take up like a whole bin. No sheets. No uh, no picture frames or anything like that. I just don't have room for it. That's why we focus on clothing. Everything is stored in our one car garage. Go back, Scandinavian Norwegian sweater. What color was it? Was it in the women's or men's? Uh, 20 bucks for a North Face, it's a size medium. With these, you always gotta check and see if they're pilled or um, matted. This one isn't, so I'm gonna actually pick this one up. This'll be a good flip in the winter season. Black, white, and red. Black, white, and red. What does it go for? There's a 100% baby alpaca sweater. Holy cow. Um, hand knit in Bolivia. I wonder if this is good. They want 35 bucks for it, but it's 100% baby alpaca. Hmm. I'm gonna throw that in the cart too. We'll do some comps later. All right, where's this uh, sweater? Black, white, and red. That one's not it. I'll come back for it, I'll come back for it. Have we seen Loudmouth Ladies? We actually sold some Loudmouth Ladies um, last week on our Whatnot show. Not last week, but the week before on Whatnot. They're hard to find, that's for sure. I only sold them because they came in on consignment. face too much money for that one North face has got to be like five bucks five bucks for the north face I'll take them there's an Everlane is this cashmere 750 I wonder if this is cash um, it's wool recycled nylon and elastane no it's not cash if it was cash, I'd pick that up. Hello, Bean, it's too much. Never seen that brand either. Lots of new brands today. I love these, um, have a size tag? Yeah, they're, they're typically on the back or they're by the interior tag, by the zipper. If they're missing a the size tag, it might be because somebody um, cut them out. New 
Vines. Oop, don't fall. Made well, another brand we don't pick up. Well, you know, um, sweaters, pretty decent comp, 69 to 160, okay. Cool. I'll look it up when uh, when we're done. Sometimes it's good to just throw it in your cart and look up later. Because if you leave it on the shelf and then you figure out later that it's a good find and you go back, it's gone, then you can be like, damn, I wish I would have just thrown that in my cart. It's safe in your cart. Even the women's sweaters are starting to get extra full now. These sweaters are hard to move. The men's sweaters are pretty much impossible to move. And they're still stocking them like crazy. Um, that was a gray Brody sweater. Uh, might be worth going back for. Gray Brody sweater is a brand Brody. I don't think I'm gonna go back through all these sweaters to find it though. Goodwill has a one half off color a week, takes four weeks. Yeah, um, yeah, this is not a Goodwill though. That's why you're seeing the half off, all these half off colors. Our Goodwill does the same exact thing. It's only one half off color every four to five weeks. So yeah, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. How much does that Brody sweater go for that I passed on? And towel bits. Mediocre brands today. Hopefully Kayla is hauling out. Because we're the last time that this happened to us, Kayla hauled out. She saved the day. Let's see what uh what's gonna happen today. Lines. I can't even move the sweaters. That's how much space they have to stock this, this rack. It's crazy full. Ooh, there's a vintage L.L. Bean. That's a nice one. Problem is, whenever I found, find these two, they usually have stains, like that one has a stain right there. There's a stain in the center. It's a nice one. Vintage made in the USA, but with all the stains, it's not worth it. Looks like it's been hanging up in someone's closet for, for years. Cashmere like 40 to 50. They need to send some north. Well, they do. They have these stores up north and down south. The problem is they get so much donations, they have to spread them all over the place. And uh, yeah, we get stuck with all the sweaters. I'm sure up north, they get stuck. They have like racks and racks of short sleeves that don't sell in the winter time. And we get racks and racks of long sleeves that don't sell in the summertime. which I'm not complaining about. I love picking up um, long sleeves in the middle of the summer because you get them really cheap. Went to the giant thrift store last week and I had a ton of stuff, $1.99 for shirts. I got several great prints, nice. It's always fun when you find like a new thrift store and then you go in and you like haul out. like Athleta today. This is bad. Go back for the strawberry sweater. The strawberry sweater. What brand is it? What brand is it and how much does it sell for? 
If you guys are telling me to go back for something, you gotta say what brand it is and how much it'll sell for, otherwise I ain't going back. Because <laughs> I've done this so many times to where I've gone back and then we spend five minutes looking for something and it ends up being something that's not even worth much. Here's another one of those baby alpaca sweaters for, I'm gonna look up this brand, see if it's worth it. But there's another one right there. We have two of them in our cart now. See if those are worth it. Hopefully it is. Hopefully that makes the, the thrift trip right there. And, and typically that packer goes Arcteric sells for 100. There was no Arcteric, Felix. No Arcteric. Let's see how Kayla's doing. There's room on this side for more sweaters, but that side is packed. Green tea. The brand is Green Tea. Dakota. Just trying to skim through these heavy sweaters real quick. Something like that. If that was like a North Face, it'd be worth picking up. But it's not. Look at all these ladies' clothes. Look at all that. How many racks of ladies' clothes? There's only two racks of men's. So much more ladies' clothes. Let's see how Kayla's doing. If we can find her. Let's see what she's got so far. Comps low on the Apalco brand. Damn. What do you got? Not that much. Ooh, a little barefoot. I have to leave this one behind. Look at this one. It's full price and it's stained. Uh, it's a nice ombre one. Yeah. Maybe if it, it goes, goes half, half off, off yeah, it'd be worth it, it to, to give it a shot when it goes half off. But that one's a short sleeve barefoot. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. No, no, I'm going to go through the uh, money rack and then I got a couple more sections to go through and then I'll be done. Two bins full of North Face Patagonia Pendleton. Um, they did a half off sale on the Goodwill the past week, $3 each. Nobody wanted them, I guess, because it's super hot in Texas. Probably. Texas is a good place to thrift those, too. Yeah, because uh, not a lot of people are buying that in Texas. It only gets cold for a few months. You're just like Florida, it only gets cold for a few months here, too. A few weeks, actually. Let's see. This is the money wrap. Money rack, money rack, money rack. Nothing good on the men's. They got a bunch of Lululemon pants for 20. What size are these actually? Size 34. Lulu shorts. Lots of Lulu up here, but nothing too crazy. Let's go over on this side. Bunch of Lulu over here. All the ladies Lulu. That's because men wear the same four outfits all the time. Facts. Facts. Actually, I have like seven outfits I wear, and then I have a couple in the in the closet that are nicer outfits. But yeah, that's pretty much ten outfits. I got a good ten. I'm trying to see if they got anything back there. I got a leather coat, and a couple leather coats, but I don't see anything too crazy. All right, back to the men's. Back to the men's. I'm gonna go through. We got pants and jeans and jackets still to go through. Pants, jeans, and jackets. Ready to reveal show this evening? Yes, yes. Um, if if you don't see those sweaters, then it's probably they weren't picked up. The jackets real quick. Let's go through the jackets. Jackets are already starting to fill up. They used to be half half this amount during the winter, and now they're starting to fill completely up which is a good sign means they're going to have to start dropping prices again it's been a while since i found a good jacket i don't really thrift the jackets first like i used to but once the summertime hits i definitely will switch up 
how I thrift the store. Look at that Kuji, crazy Kuji jacket. This is a Kuji. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, K-Way wears Kuji. Kuji's a pickup. This is not a pickup for Kuji. Um, it's not the classic Kuji that you're looking for. $34.99 for a G-Star Raw jacket. $17.50 is okay, but I want to pass on it. A little too pricey. Fat Farm jacket. Kelly Henson for 35 If this was half off, I'd consider picking this one up because it's a nice one. It's got the faux fur hood, um, but for 35 it's too much. $17.50, that'd be okay to pick up. How much for the kayak? Oh, I can go look at it. I'll look at it on the way out. It's a Brooks Brothers. It's a nice one too, but it's, look at all these marks on it. It's like tons of like dirt marks on it. You'd have to get it cleaned. Um, but I bet you that's a wool liner, but not worth it because it's all marked up. Pencilate, no good leathers. Let's go down to the beginning. We got Salco and the G Star Inner Tag. Some sell for over 100. True. Some do sell for over 100, but I'm not going to pick them up this time of year because it's going to be harder for them to move for at over 100. That wasn't one of the higher end ones either. It was more of a basic one. Um, North Face, 15 is a pass. That was 30. That was full price. The other Heli Hudson, 17.50. It's got a Land Rover hit on the front. Chiller killer. Chiller killer. Mm -mm -mm, not finding anything over there. Let's go over here. How much you spend on sports items monthly? Depends on the month. Sometimes. Um, back in the day when we used to come here, we used to spend like a thousand bucks every single time we came here. Um, now it's a little bit less. There's a little bit more competition in the store, obviously, because people watch the vids. But um, typically I spend about 400 bucks every time I go sourcing in this store. We source the store four times a week or four times a month. And then we also do other stores too. If I had to guess, I'd probably say we spend anywhere between five to 7,000 a month on inventory. Somewhere between those two numbers. Out pair of Ralph Lauren cotton shorts. Not worth. Sells so the best for you in the summer. Um, short sleeves, shorts, um, sell the best. But we pick up the long sleeves in the summer because that's when they're cheap at thrift stores. What's up, Nada Prada? Obviously, it's because of your vids. They do watch the vids, Felix. We went to the brand new store that just opened and six of the employees walked up to us and said, hi, we watch your videos. Hi, hi, we know you. I'm like, okay, brand new store, never been in it before. Six of the employees walked up to us. So clearly they watch the vids. And it's funny because when we pick up an item, uh, when we pick up a bunch of one item in one haul, uh, a couple weeks later, everything will be priced up. Like Vineyard Vines in this store used to be 750 and then all of a sudden now it's 35 bucks for a Vineyard Vine shirt. I wonder why. Uh, these pants look good. Where can I buy them? Um, these pants look good. Where can I buy them? The store is called Red, White, and Blue Thrift. Red, White, and Blue. You probably have one near you. Um, if, you if it's a little bit of a drive, it's worth the drive to go to and uh, find them. Because every red, white, and blue is packed full of clothing. Typically, the prices are better than like Goodwills and things like that. You know, um, when they do that, it literally makes no sense um, why they say themselves. He's buying all the shirts. Let's continue to make sales and price them. Yeah, exactly. That's what. That's how I'd price them. If I'm making a profit, I would keep them all the same. I wouldn't like drastically increase the price because then you're like pricing out your target target market target market is the person who's buying up all your your items 
problem is they watch the videos, they know what they sell for online, so they want to try to sell in store for the same price. You'll never be able to get the same price in store as you can online simply because you're selling to a ton less people. There might be a thousand, well, probably more, there might be 10,000 people that walk through the door at this red, white, and blue today. Maybe less than that, actually, probably about 5,000. And there's gonna be millions of people that go online to, sort, to, to find items every single day. Sections of summer versus winter. Um, when, I, when it's summertime, I normally go to the winter first and then hit the summertime items. And the um, winter, I normally hit the su summertime items first. Lately, I've been going to the long sleeves because the long sleeves have been really, really good. Um, but I might switch it up in the next couple weeks and start doing um, the uh, the winter the winter items first, like jackets and jeans. We still haven't gone through the jeans yet either. We should do that first. You, I don't have my um, case on my phone anymore, so it makes it hard to hold my phone. By the way, if you're just hanging out, you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Um, we do these lives every single week. We come back to the same store and uh, we look for items to flip online. Typically, we find a lot more than we found today. Today's one of those drier days, but uh, make sure you follow. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. Tap that screen. Somebody's tapping the screen. I see the hearts coming in. Might be a shorter live thrift today, because I'm not finding anything. Uh, even the pants section is kind of dry. Let's go through the jeans and we'll see what Kayla wants to do. She's pretty much done. We might dip out early. Maybe hit another thrift in the area. Blue Rock. Joe's jeans, men's Joe's jeans are okay, but for 20 bucks, it's too high a price. They're a good size too, 34. No, I have a I have a case, but I have to take it off because I have the um, I have the mic set up now, and the mic setup doesn't work with the case. Um, it won't plug in. Here's a pair of LL Bean. Whoops, they're flannel lined. I pick these up for this price, and then so it's are 650, flannel lined, and they go for like 25 to 30 plus ship in the winter time, so I'll throw those into storage and we'll list them in the winter. Bonobos jeans. Navi jeans, got some men's page. Men's page jeans, but you can see, this, this is like classic page jeans. So size 30, but right there you can see that there's pulling. As soon as there's pulling, they're worth almost nothing. Not worth picking up a resale, that's for sure. Diesel jeans, too much money for diesels. Nothing. Yeah, I wish I could, I could show you guys the setup, but the, the mic I have plugs into the bottom of my phone. I'm gonna have the case on. It won't fit, so I have to take it off. I hate not having a case on my phone, though. I always feel like I'm gonna break it. It's gonna be the one time I accidentally drop it is when I don't have my case on. Another pair of LL Bean flannel lined. We'll grab those two flannel line LL Bean jeans. What are these? These are not LL Bean. Oh, they are LL Bean. LL Bean flannel line too. These are only four bucks. I must have missed these last week. Probably because the tag isn't on the outside. Grab those two. <laughs> Throw those into storage and pull them out in the winter season. These are Duluth flannel lined for six, oh no, that's full price. Never mind, that's full price. Did I grab a full price one down here? No, I didn't. Might pick those up next week. Um, how do you sell everything on eBay? You list it on eBay, you take photos and you create a listing and then you put it up for sale. Um, have you found clothing, um, arts, anti pickpocket pants and shorts yet? Yes, I found those and they always sell super fast. It's one of those brands that thrift stores don't know, so you can find them really cheap. But yeah, clothing arts is one of my favorite to pick up. 
We passed the L.L. Bean, yeah, but because it wasn't flannel line. Once they have filling, it's worth less. Yes, once it has that pulling on the inside crotch area, like this is not um, L.L. Bean, but once it has that pulling right here, that means they've been worn too much and uh, it's just gonna keep pulling. And then when you wear them, they're gonna, um, they're gonna sit funky on your leg. Another pair of those decibel jeans, those were all over that new rack. Brax used to be good, no longer good. Skywalker, Jaywalker, Jaywalker jeans. Those are Orvis. I showed these to Chris last week. Um, this might not be the same pair, but there was a pair of Orvis here that were um, that were stained up. This one's not stained up. I'll pick this up next week when it goes five. These are like the fishing pants with the faux leather on the um, outer area, but not worth it for 10. Got those decibel jeans, cryptid, no pants today. No pants, another pair of decibels, nothing. Tried a couple months ago, thanks for all you mean. Uh, we put out, I learned a lot from you and Surfs. Appreciate you. Thanks for following Surfs too. He's good uh, Good for information as well. Um, also, if you're if you're subscribed here, I'm gonna have um, guide videos coming out pretty soon, like five to 10 minute guide videos, like how to take photos, how to do listings, um, like basic beginner stuff. Obviously, if you've been following me for a while and you already sell, it's not gonna be for you. It's gonna be mostly for the new people. Um, I'm gonna to try to put one of those videos out a week and I'm gonna probably start doing them either the end of this week or next week. Look at that, see? That's what I mean for page jeans. See all that pulling right there? See right in the crotch area, it's all pulled. Um, it's bad, 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 bad. But yeah, we'll have those videos coming out here pretty soon. I'm gonna leave these behind too. Those I, I picked up last week. They're For one, they're super short. And for two, they have that pocket, um, pocket stain, so. But yeah, all the guide videos will come out here pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna start try to start expanding on on YouTube. We've been live for about an hour. Thanks, Midwest. K way is much easier too to look at. Yeah, I know. You were gonna say look at. All right, chat. Let's find Kayla. And we might dip out a little early today because we're kind of lacking on the finds. There she is. Think. Look, she's got those shoes. She stole those from the inventory. I almost showed, I almost showed this on camera. Oh, why is that right there? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't show it on YouTube. I might get banned for that. Um, all right, let me flip this camera real quick. All right, chat. I think we're gonna head off. We'll probably do a live. Um, we're definitely gonna do a live later tonight, going over everything that we picked up. So if you want to watch everything we picked up, including the stuff that's in Kayla's cart, which is right there, uh, make sure you come back. She picked up all the ladies' items. I picked up all, all the men's items. It'll be tonight around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll set up the live here um, shortly so you guys can go all follow the live and um, get ready to watch it, bookmark it, or however it works on YouTube, and we'll be back later tonight. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Peace.